Hi everybody, this is Gary Dean with Sentiment Timing and this is our technical video report for Tuesday, March 26, 2024. Uh, sorry for the late report. I had to run out right after the market closed. So um, we had, it was actually a really, really boring day. It was a pretty easy day for the uh, the credit spread trades because we you know waited for the market to open. It ran into the resistance. So we kind of knew where our our range was and and really the range that we were looking at after the hour uh was up to the uh, 5246 down to the 5216 so we simply uh just did our our uh our credit spread with uh with with the uh 5215s and the, and the 5245s and if you notice we did it did nothing so we were going into the last hour of trading uh the max profit that we could have got on that was a thousand dollars it was at nine hundred dollars and uh you know everybody that's uh in our room knows that within the last hour of trading you within if you're within a hundred points that a uh, hundred dollars of what you can max out and making uh just take the profits because you get some crazy moves towards the end of the day and I was on a call actually and it worked out because this is just the the account that I show the trades on uh it's it's not my my real trading account because I don't need 8000 people looking at that but in any case I have it that this is how I show people uh the members how to make the trades and when I was on the phone I you know, when I was on the Zoom call I kind of saw the markets going down and it ended up working out really well because uh the person that's on the phone got to see both ends of it where you know it was up 900 and you know i basically said you can you know we were taking we'd take the trade off right here because the maximum we can get is a thousand and we she saw how it how it ends where it, if it got stopped out so here you can see it's this shows for the day it shows minus 500 so that was our put trade that got called out and our open trades was 600 so we made 100 bucks that's uh that's getting stopped out of it because these are uh, the way that the thinkorswim shows on these types of accounts is that you know this is still considered open until tomorrow uh it, but it, it's not it, it's just like i said this is a uh a demo account where i put the trades out because i like i said i don't really need uh thousands of people looking at my account so um but you can see it tracks it the same exact way entries are the same and uh you know the the opens we made 600 what got what got stopped out 500 we i didn't touch the trade it just left it as is and and this is the way it is and this is the way you set these trades up is you know first of all you need to know when to take them uh when to jump in um, second is you need to know the parameters on it. And then you just, when you set your stops, as long as we're doing this and we don't get any, you know, major, major big candle like this, for example, if we would have taken the trade right here and bought these, we probably would have lost close to a thousand dollars on it because when it happens this fast, those stops will not work. But when you get in them around here, like we did, when it starts moving like that, your calls and your puts are going to equal out. But if you got it here and you bought your, you know, your, your, let's just, I'm going to throw the same numbers out, 5245s and your 5215s. And from there, it goes straight down. This is going to, this is the, the stop on this is going to get crushed on it because it's going, the, the, the price of the options are going up so fast and you don't want them to go up. You want them to stay go down because you sold them that it by the time you get stopped out of this it, it's going to be a you know you're going to take a decent hit on it so this worked out where you know the stops are set we were going it was the last hour of trading we knew that once we got stopped it was going to be an equal uh you know amount on it and that that's pretty much what happened so um i'm not really quite sure what the catalyst for this sell-off was because we you know this was some pretty good support here and then we just took that right out and then went to you know really the next uh, support line which really isn't a support line it's just a 200 day moving average on the 15 minute chart so i'm not if they if they bounce it and the bears are going to try to make something out of this they're going to try to hold it down either between the, the 5216 or really the crucial part is going to be up at the 5227 so this is going to be the important uh you know the the resistance that the bear that the bulls need to get through and if they come up and and it, and it hits its head here 
and then comes down, the next lines we're looking at is the 5188. Uh, the 5184 and then down at the 5180 now you remember what i was showing you yesterday i'm not i'm gonna try to see if i so th this is that trend line if you can kind of see it right here let me just kind of zoom in a little bit so this is the trend line that i was showing you uh yesterday where i said it's really just a big channel that we're trading in and and this is going it, I, this is why i came up with this the 5260 uh, target when we broke out of that that triangle and we made it right up to there so this was respected so basically i just copied this line and put it down to these and this is the bottom of the channel so if it's coming down here let's just say it bounces up a little bit and then comes down you can see this is probably going to be a pretty decent little buying area right here at the 51 anywhere from the 5170 up to the 5180 area and from there if because the one of the reasons why i'm believing that we're, we're coming back up to these levels is again um just using history as our guide and we don't have any any sell signals here so you can see if we go straight up this was the strongest move and if we look anywhere even whatever pullback we got they've always made new highs on it so this one actually went a little bit deeper uh no actually no because this was the spike up and here you can see that we went up and we had the sell signals now another thing that i pointed out in the in the room today in the trading room was that when we were coming up here uh in the morning it was a it, uh, there was some sell signals that were in place so i was waiting for this to pull you know to come down a little bit to be able to get the uh to, to put the trade on and and we and, and it, it kind of came down but then just stayed right there but um you know we had some sell signals so this this move made sense I just didn't think it was going to come the last 45 minutes of trading. So anyway, if we head down, this is a pretty decent support area. We have, you know, there we have this here. You could even go one more and say that we have this underneath here. So the, the you know, the, the bulls have a pretty good, I mean, this is, this is a pretty good foundation of support here. So if it comes down here, I would not be, you know, looking to see for a breakdown. Wait for it to break down and then use it as, you know, resistance and then short it. Because, um, you know, like I said, history is telling us that we're going to come up and test or break these highs just because we don't have any sell signals. So these are this is the support zone right here. Uh, resistance, I just showed you. We have 50, uh, 5216. Uh, more importantly, we have the 5227 and then the uh, the 5234. If they get above that, the really the last line of support uh, resistance before we get up here is going to be up at the uh, the 5246. So there's some resistance areas, there's some support areas. Uh, I I think that you know we we know when we're we're expecting the top to come in, and we're you know it, it's it right now is not the time to be testing the bulls to see if this is the time to break down because they've passed every test so you have to assume that they're going to win and they're going to hold support and come up um but we're getting to a time that's approaching very very quickly where uh everybody that's making this bet because it's worked every single time since october uh is going to get caught off guard and if they get caught off guard uh like i said it they they're the bulls are not really prepared for any kind of drop because they're not accustomed to it so if we you know we say we break through these support levels then you know we we have the the 200 day moving average on the hourly chart but that's coming all the way down to the 51 17 and again uh something that the the bulls have not had a face since october is you know 100 and uh whatever point 180 point a little bit more than that uh point drop so it's it's always been about 100 points and that's about it and then back up again so once we start getting through you know these levels here that's when we're gonna you know i i we're, we're gonna be taking out we're gonna be filling a lot of these gaps and my guess is it's going to happen in a very, very short amount of time. Like uh, I'm talking maybe a month or two. And you can see three, four, five hundred 500 points taken off the S&P. Uh, like I said, right now, um, I, I don't have any rhyme or reason on why it would happen right now. Uh, there's a lot of landmines out there. But the main thing that I'm really trying to get across here is that we're, you know, we're coming into the time period where – uh, things are going to start changing and you want to be on the right side of the tape. So with that, let's see what plays out tomorrow. Have a great night and I'll talk to you guys in the morning.